Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to install Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 Professional on Windows 7 operating system. Right now, I'm in the Google search engine. Type www.visualstudio.com. Click Downloads. The download section, Visual Studio Downloads, come to the bottom here. I'm looking for Visual Studio 2017. Expand this. Visual Studio Professional 2017. This one I want to install. Click Download. Here is the file setup file is just installed on it. Double click on it. S. Continue. So here in the installing section, you got a plenty of options to download. So I require only the web and cloud. So these five options I have chosen. Here you can notice. Click install. Okay, now it's complete 100% finished. Click launch. Now Visual Studio start a familiar environment. So I'm choosing C Sharp. Apply customization for the previous version 10. I'm checking this checkbox. Choose your color theme. Blue, dark or light. I'm choosing the default theme only. Blue only. Start Visual Studio. This may take a few minutes because it's the first time I'm opening the Visual Studio. Here it is. We'll check the version. Go to help about Microsoft Visual Studio. In the version I'm using the Visual Studio Professional 2017. Here one important point is, is here the license status is for only 30 days. You need a proper product key to unlock the 30 day trial period. Let's start the first application. File, New, click Project. I'm creating the web applications, .NET Framework. In the web application I'm choosing Hello World. Okay. I'm using the web forms. Okay. Now go to Solution Explorer. Click the default.aspx page. After installation, when I run this program first time, it tries an error unable to start a program on this host, local host. An operation is not legal in the current state. When I click OK, and this is the output Chrome script debugging in the Visual Studio. Let's fix this error. Go to Tools, Options, Debugging, General, and come to the Enable JavaScript Debugging for ASP.NET, Chrome and Internet Explorer. Just uncheck it. OK. Now build the project. 
I hope it will work without any error. Click on the program. And here is the output on the browser. That's it. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video, and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.